What's up beautiful people, Tony Slay here from Slay Pixels and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can avoid succumbing to pressure and anxiety and actually taking that first step towards your success. Yes guys, if you're new to this channel, I'm a rapper, singer, producer, cinematographer and songwriter based in Germany. Uh, I've been putting out a couple of different videos of late, like just trying to touch on different topics, music related and video related. But today's video, I'm, I just want to talk about something I've never talked about. I've always wanted to talk about this, but I've never won. I've never been able to do it. At some point, we all have plans that we want to execute like this, something that we want to achieve in life. The fear of starting to do something can be very overwhelming. What will the people think? What will the people say? How will they see me? And such questions keep crisscrossing our minds at some point, yeah? I'll take you back in time to when I was a kid. I wasn't exposed to a lot of stuff. I grew up in a country and I didn't know much about the modern world. Fun fact, my younger brother knew how to use a mobile phone ahead of me. Fast forward, I, I edited my first music video at the age of 14. Trust me, I was so impressed with this video. I showed everyone. I kept show, showing my friends and telling them, look at what I've done. I was so proud of myself. I used a free software called VideoPad. I had never watched any video editing tutorials, neither had I ever seen anyone edit a music video, any type of video. But I just did it. This music video was shot by my younger brother, who was 11 years or 12 years, I think, at that time. And he shot it using my mother's phone. My mother had just gotten a smartphone. I didn't have a phone at that time. I edited this video in my, in my mom's laptop. At that time, I always had a dream of making my own film, even if it means a short film. You know, I always wanted to be a movie director, a film director, you know. And years later, I shot my first three episode series. The funniest thing is that we did not even have equipment. When I call this a short series, you might be thinking ahead, oh, a director, we had cameraman and stuff. We just had a Nikon D5300, uh, Yongnuo, Yongnuo lens 50 millimeters, and uh, an 85 millimeter lens. A tripod, like a mini tripod, like it's a tripod meant to hold a phone, not a camera, you know? But it is what it is, I did it. We shot the whole series in one location within a circumference of 15 meters, I think. It was, I think it's even less than 15, it can be 10, like just a small area. Shot a, a whole series in one day and finished it. You already know how unprofessional that was when you see that. The quality was bad. The sound was terrible. Everything was cringy. Damn, it was so bad. But guess what? I was so proud of myself for, me, for doing that. I felt so happy I had achieved something that I always wanted. I was so proud of myself when I made that series. I didn't know much about filmmaking. I had never watched any YouTube videos or YouTube tutorials, like these fancy tutorials showing you how to do this and how to do that, the cinematic stuff, I don't know what. I had no freaking idea. I was so sure that what I was doing is how it's supposed to be done. I was comfortably using Sony Vegas Pro 12. I had never touched Premiere Pro, you know. I had so much confidence in my work. Not because my work was so good, nope. My work was terrible. My work was so bad. But why did I have so much confidence in my work? I had so much confidence in my work because I had never watched other people's work. That meant I never compared my work to anyone's. It was just Whatever I've done, that's it. I felt it was like one of the best directors in the world. Yet, I was not even among the worst, you know. 
I was I did not even qualify to be to use the word director. Like using the word director is like an insult. When you look at what I used to do at that time. I never watched other creators and compared myself to them. That meant I was never anxious and I never got any feeling of inferiority. I just created. I just did what I had to do. I remember screening this film at, at, at the university. And you know, like there was a film that was coming before, before my short series. And the film that was coming before had been, it's like, it was a documentary film which was done by, like it was produced professionally. Like a whole crew, there the, the, the was a producer, there was a, there was cinematographer, sound, there was a sound person, like everything was super, was super professional in that film. That doc, it was a documentary film, so yeah, it's just a film. Our film was supposed to come after that. Mine was terrible, like it was so bad, the quality was bad. I had rendered it in 720, not even, not even 1080, 720. During the screening, as I was watching the, the documentary, waiting for our time to come so that it can, we can showcase what we had, I started developing a certain feeling of fear, you know, because I was watching this film and I was like, this thing has really raised the bar. When we come in, people are going to boo us, people are going to insult us, you know what I'm saying? But funny thing is that this professionally produced documentary film, yeah, it got a lot of feedback, but there was still criticism on production, people saying it was so flat and it did not have maybe humor or something like that. A lot of people don't understand it's a documentary film, it should be educational most of the times, Documentary films, they don't, they don't come with humor or such stuff. They just come with information. But again, the audience maybe did not understand that or, or something. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I was so nervous, I won't lie, after I had the feedback that the audience gave. And I was just like, whoa, people are going to roast our asses off because if this is a professionally produced film and it still gets criticism, what will my stupidity like even get? I became so anxious at that point. I knew my sound was so bad because when I was editing the video, I was just like, oh my God, this sound is so bad. But I still didn't care. When the time came, our film was projected, the people watched. My main goal was to make people laugh. The people laughed their asses off. The people were so happy. Although the picture quality was so bad, a lot of background noise, you know, some scenes were unsharp, like just a lot of cringy stuff in this film. But the audience didn't see that. The audience followed the storyline and the storyline is what made the audience love this short series that I, was, that I made. That meant my planning was good. My planning started with the script. That went fast. My script was good. The picture quality was not that good, but no one cares. What the people care about is we are seeing people and we can hear what they're saying. Although there was a lot of background noise, people never cared. As long as they could hear the characters speaking, no one cared. Like, absolutely no one went got zero negative comments on that short film. That's something that when I look at right now, I'm like, Argh. why did I do that? But it still will remain as my first step towards achieving my goal. After this film, I got a lot of energy. I started, like, I really felt so good about it. I wanted to do more. I wrote a lot of other scripts. I started being confident in my work and that's just how it all started. Just that first step that it took. I never cared about the gear I had. I never cared about the quality or what. I just 
said, this has always been my dream. I'll do it. I don't care what other people think. As we were shooting, people would pause and would, you would see them wondering what are these guys doing. But it is what it is. If you, if you care about what the people see, then you will never, never ever take the first step. The first step is always the hardest thing to do. That first step, like there's nothing as hard as that first step. Waking up in the morning is always hard. You know, when your alarm rings, that first step to leave your bed is always hard. But the moment you just take your leg and step down, then the other things start, they start flowing, you know. The first step to success is to start. If you are a footballer, if you want to be a successful footballer, the first step towards being a successful footballer is starting to play football. The first step towards being a successful cinematographer is starting to shoot. The first step to becoming a successful script writer is starting to write. What people think doesn't matter at all, at all. Imagine if we'll start thinking about gear, lack of lights, reflectors, and all those stuff when I was shooting my short film. I would never have done it. Right now I have the confidence if someone calls me, hey, I want to make a short film, I want to make a documentary. I'm just like, let's do it. Like I don't even care that much, you know, because I already started it. I've already done it. I know. This has always been my dream. And I, I was always postponing it. Although I never had a camera. But the moment I got a camera, the moment this friend of mine gave me his camera, it was done. And one secret that I got from one of my favorite rappers, Enef, he's called Enef. He was asked the types of artists that he, listened to, he listens to. Then he said he does not listen to other artists. Why? Because he'll try to copy their style. So he just listens to his own music. He does not listen to anyone else. I don't mean that you shouldn't go and check out other creators. Go ahead and look at what your role model is doing. But don't try to be like him. Don't try to be like them. Because that's like the biggest mistake. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how I came from being this very confident boy to a certain depressed guy that I was thinking, I, al I almost contemplated. What is even the meaning of contemplating? I don't know. I almost thought of stopping this filmmaking stuff. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification on and like this video drop a comment and tell me about your experience if you have any stay safe wherever you are and see you in the next video blessings hey you dig yeah I dig hey you dig yeah I dig huh. everybody got to up their league hey you dig yeah I dig hey you dig yeah, I dig hey you dig